this was shot uh, on a 35 millimeter DGI lens. Um, this shot just has daylight coming in through a big window, soft light. And uh, I actually accidentally had the ISO on 5000 instead of 800, um, which was really stupid. So it introduced a lot of noise, um, but I, it still ended up being fine. So I'll show you that. Um, the settings, I just have it set to DaVinci YRGB for color science, timeline space, DaVinci wide gamut intermediate, which is way bigger than 709. And I'm not going to mess with the uh, DGI LUT, which you can download from their site, of course. And um, if you wanted, you could either insert that in the settings. Um, all right, so here we have the shot. And um, before we do any noise reduction, because that's really hard on the computer, um, I have curves set up, so I'll just undo this just to show you. Like, this is the very first thing I would start with. And um, over here on your waveform, there's all this like information that we want to bring back. So um, I just bring the highlights up. I don't go all the way up. Um, to 1,000 or 100 or whatever. I just kind of keep it that area. I do like to crush my blacks. This is like personal preference. I'm going to leave a little room because you'll see. Um, we'll start moving on to other nodes. And um, I'm not really doing this in the right order. But um, next I would start going for some contrast. Um, I'm undo this. And starts adding, you know, a lot of that like color depth to the image, which I think looks pretty good. You can always pivot if you want to bring um, brighten, you know, more of the mids and highs, or if you want to keep crushing kind of the mids and lows. I like the pivot tool. And, um, saturation this is really bringing out the colors it might be too intense for some no I like it but uh, it's kind of up to you I think if I'm not mistaken saturation is more of a linear um, curve versus color boost I need to look this up which I think boosts colors that are less saturated than others before it saturates other colors, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I'm mostly stick with the saturation. Uh, white balance, I did, I don't think it made a difference because it was already pretty well balanced, but if you want to do that, primary wheels, click this little dropper, boom, click, it should be good. Um, so then noise reduction, which of course comes with Pro, I don't think it's in the free version. Um, so since I, oh, and I'll hold down option to um, zoom in fast, zoom, option zoom. Um, you'll see a lot of, the, there's a lot of like kind of red and green and kind of like digital distortion stuff, this like, which is because, partly because I was shooting at such a high ISO, um, during the day, which was stupid. Um, but, um, adding noise reduction, like really, it smooths out. Um, the image a lot but it takes out the noise for sure and so that um, da -da 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 -da. under here I have it I didn't mess with the temporal I just did spatial um, I could probably do less I set the mode to better because I want it done right radius is small I think you're supposed to set this to like few frames um, yeah but
but so if that's just back at zero, you can see um, and Luma's for light, Chroma's for color. You can, you can make it so they're not both affected. And for me, I feel like it's more of a Chroma issue. Um, like, yeah, you could, it just pulls all that gunk out. I mean, that's like pretty good. And it also smooths kind of out, you know, some whatever needs smoothing, which the models are happy with. Um, yeah, so I mean, this is just starting from straight log, um, just bypassing the 709 LUT. And um, I know, you know, Pro Color is. I don't know, everyone says something different, so you just gotta do what works. I think you gotta keep trying things. Um, but I like starting from scratch and building uh, my own look for the time being as I'm learning. Um, and it helps you kind of see what you have. It shows you what you shot. Uh, instead of like starting with the LUT, you know, it, it could mess with your colors if you don't know what you're doing. It's better to just kind of know what you're getting. Um, try to, you know, replicate the colors that you saw on set. Uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions.